Welcome. Within this video, I want to give you a tour about the planetary interaction features that Adam for Eve has and that might help you, um, well, um, making ISK by the PI feature of Eve Online. There's two ways uh, that you get access to the pages. Uh, first one, obvious one, is uh, by the main menu. So um, PI, and then you have got the two options, profitability and uh, the chain, to display the chain. Um, there's also on the front page, uh, this box on the far right, um, where you have a quick access uh, to showing the PI chain. So for example, if you want to look at mechanical parts, um, you can just enter it, uh, click on uh, the button, and then you are immediately uh, see the chain that is needed in order to create mechanical parts. Um, but we want to start the tour at the very beginning. You don't know what you want to produce. Um, and therefore the profitability, PI profitability, the profitability um, is the interesting page because it lists um, well exactly the profit uh, that you can expect in ideal uh, situations from a single chain um, of different uh, different aspects um, so important it's a single chain in order to create uh, well one batch of the desired output um, this is not scaled uh, for a character or multiple characters so it can be that you can have multiple chains uh, per character or even per planet um, that's something that you need to figure out then yourself based on the skills that you have, the uh, amount of um, characters uh, that you have, um, and of course the quality of the planet that you use. But let's look at this page. Um, at the top you can set different options. For PI the customs are important, um, so mainly getting resources off the planets um, but of course also selling or buying if you're running a factory um, the percentage uh, market tax is important uh, you can set them here then you've got different filters um, the output level is what level of resource you want to produce um, with p1 being the basic the the cheapest resources and P4 the most advanced and um, expensive resources. Then there are two types that you can select. Uh, factory is that you don't extract your um, P0, so your raw materials yourself. Uh, you're running, uh, you want to run a pure factory um, and buy the raw materials, the input materials from the market, uh, import it into the or onto the planet, uh, process it, it there and uh, then sell the output on the market again. Extract is that uh, you don't import uh, the raw materials, you extract them yourself um, and then transport them between, if necessary, between the planets to uh, special factory planets, but you're independent from the prices of the input material. <coughs> Speaking of price, you can of course uh, select uh, the price as well, um, which hub uh, should be used and um, how you're going to sell uh, the goods and how you're going to buy them if you're using a factory. So are you using sell orders or buy orders? This will determine which price will be used for the calculation. And if you want to use the price which is valid right now, or if you want to use an average. An average is 
um, gives a better understanding what your long-term profit may be, whereas the current, uh, of course, will show you uh, exactly what you can expect right now. So let's make an example. We'll do a P2 factory. Uh, we stay at Jita. Um, yeah, let's stay at Jita at the current price. And this reduces the list a bit. Um, you then have different informations uh, that are shown in the table. Most uh, important are these three, the profit rows, um, the overall pure profit, um, the percentage based on the cost that you can expect. Um, so for livestock, um, you make a 50% profit uh, based on the cost that you need to invest and an estimation of the uh, profit per hour um, based on the length of the chain. Uh, for this, uh, also read the notes here because uh, for the different length of chains, there's also uh, export import um, added and uh, half an hour for transportation. So this is a, a, a rough estimate. And then you've got three buttons um, for each of the rows. Uh, the first one is the commodity detail. So if we look at livestock, um, you get to, to this page um, where you can see the price history as well as the supply and demand history in order for you to decide um, if that's a very volatile um, commodity and uh, if it's a, a wise choice uh, to, to produce it. Um, the last icon is the historic chart. A uh, historic chart is mainly interesting for for factory for factories you have uh, potentially volatile uh, input costs um, so if you look here uh, this bluish um, line are the input costs and you can see that there they are well kind of stable but also have spikes in them um, and these spikes are also represented in the the profit um, and you can see in the revenue um, that uh, it's also it has some uh, some high points, it has low points, um, and therefore the profit itself. Here you can switch off different lines. You see that the profit itself uh, if at the end of 2016. Well. The third quarter, uh, you wouldn't have made a profit with this chain. Then you would have made quite a lot of a profit, and now it's it's rising uh, a bit. So it's not a steady profit. This chain. So that is uh, the uh, what you, uh, what this graph is for. Uh, so you can decide if it's really sensible to produce this in a long-term perspective. And then there's the chain ex, uh, itself, which is this for livestock. Um, here again, uh, the, the chain page works also in itself because you can select uh, the output material um, from these drop-downs. And um, you can also again uh, tell the page which price it should take for calculations. Now the chain simple flow diagram. So um, you've got your P zeros. Um, well, let's go from other way around. Uh, you want to have your livestock in order to have your livestock. Um, you need two input materials, which are proteins and biofuels. Um, and you need an advanced industry facility in order to process that. 
and since you want um, the whole chain from, from P0 onwards, um, in order to make proteins you need complex organisms and in order to make biofuels you need carbon compounds. Um, both of them need to be processed in a basic industry facility. It also shows you the amount of the materials needed. Uh, so the output um, from one cycle, so to speak, um, of livestock is five, five items. Um, for these five items, uh, you need 40 proteins. And for these 40 proteins, you need 6,000 uh, complex organisms. Um, and it also shows you the, uh, the the cycle times of the factories. So how long it will take to create that uh, amount. What you need to keep in mind is um, you can set the tax values. Uh, so the shield is the customs tax and the uh, pile of coins is the market tax. Um, you can set that individually for each resource and uh, for each direction, so output or input, uh, so export and import. Um, however, you need to keep in mind that um, the input and the factory itself and the output are on the same planet. So therefore the customs should be the same. The program is not, or the, the web page is not forcing you to set it to the same value, but it makes a lot of sense to set it to the main value. So keep that in mind. Um, by default, uh, the taxes are zero. So this is very ideal. Um, if you don't want to set uh, all these, uh, these uh, input fields yourself, you can do this here. So if we want to set this to 10% uh, and set, then all the customers are set to 10%. Same for market three set. Good, so now what are we seeing here? The first row, and uh, for P0, there's no second row. Uh, the first row is always uh, a single step. Um, so uh, a factory uh, that is um, takes the input, uh, you buy the input from the market, it gets processed and you immediately sell the output. That's the, the uh, top row here. The second row is the complete chain includes um, with extraction. Exception is the P0. Um, here, uh, this is uh, of course extracted. So if you take complex organisms um, and you've got ex an extractor running there, then you can sell uh, that for 28K, which is a nice profit. Of course, um, since uh, the in effect uh, you didn't have to buy that, it's it's generated over time. If we look now that the P1, so the process, the first processing step, then um, already including customs and market uh, taxes, um, if you would sell proteins created um, by buying complex organisms, processing, importing that with a 10% customs, processing, processing that and selling uh, the result, uh, you would make uh, 17K. So 48% profit. If you extract the uh, P zeros, then this is 51 K and a ridiculous amount of uh, percentage. The percentage is for extraction is not really relevant. Um, 
The interesting for extraction is this value because uh, it shows you is it really worth um, creating a higher tier resource. So if you would sell uh, the complex organisms directly, um, would you make a better profit as if you would process it into proteins and then sell it? In this case, yes, it makes sense to create proteins. However, also keep in mind uh, the, the, the transportation costs. Um, here you have a large, uh, whilst the, the amount is uh, the, the individual uh, size or volu volume of complex organisms is very small. Um, the, uh, the amount is very large and you have 60 cubic meters uh, you would need to tr um, in order to transport this badge. If you process it, then you all, uh, only need 15 cubic meters. And uh, therefore, for, uh, the profit per cubic meter is double or even a lot more uh, than if you would only, uh, if you would transport the P0s. If you look at the P2, then you've got uh, half again. Uh, so processing this, uh, these two into uh, P, these two P1 resources into P2 end product, um, it only takes 7.5 cubic meters. Therefore, the profit per cubic meter is even better. These values uh, change dynamically. So if we then look at P2s, um, again, first row is single step. Um, so this value, this loss here, is that you've bought proteins and biofuels from the market, brought them to the your factory planet with advanced in industry facilities. Um, this chain has one. And um, you imported them onto the planet, both P1 uh, resources for uh, with a 10% tax rate, which uh, costs you 800 per piece. Um, you bought them with a 3% market tax so that the proteins, uh, the 40 proteins cost you 56K and uh, the biofuels uh, 20K. And then you process them into livestock and these five livestock that you receive, uh, you export them also again with 10% uh, customs which is uh, cost you 3,600 and uh, you sell them at again 3% market tax um, which gains you uh, 80k. In total you make a loss because the buy uh, costs as well as the customs costs well eat the revenue that you get. So not desirable. Um, what would the, be the case if you have a good PI planet where you only pay 5% customs? So let's take 5% here and since it's the play, same planet also here and here and you've got a small uh, profit. Um, so this is uh, where you can dynamically adjust the chain to the values that you have on your planets. And of course, if you are trading on a uh, in a citadel uh, and you have zero percent uh, market tax, for example, then you still ha don't have a huge profit, uh, but seven percent uh, you could make from this single step. Uh, chain. If you process your 
um, materials, I don't know if you extract your materials uh, yourself, then you can look at a, uh, a quite a good um, profit uh, instead of selling the P zeros and uh, 72k. So this is a basic example how you uh, should read this chain. Um, sadly, OBS doesn't show the tooltips because if you go over these different um, icons and also the values, uh, it shows you an ex here an explanation what is being shown, and then if you go over the values, uh, it shows the the formula that is used in order to get uh, to this value. So this looks pretty simple uh, and let's look at P4s, I don't know, nano factory, let's go and there it gets a bit more complicated. Um, even so big that it doesn't fit entirely on the screen um, and here really you uh, can adjust and uh, at one step so if you want to uh, produce nano factories um, and again here's no tax uh, taxes set so set set um, you see okay uh, you can make uh, that's very small now 900k 900k if you extract the resource yourself and create um, the whole chain until nano factories um, and from an overview you can see w which individual steps um, create a profit and which don't. So from the uh, different input materials you see industry, industrial explosives have a small profit but this, um, the superconductors, uh, they are in the red so they uh, pull your uh, chain profit down um, so you should see what you can do about that maybe you leave this part of the chain out and buy uh, buy it from the market um, or uh, you put that on a on a low tax planet um, but those decisions uh, this chain overview um, should give you the tool in order to make uh, the decisions how to build up uh, your planets and what to put on, on your planets. I hope I could give you an overview um, how this works, how it's designed, how it may help you. Uh, if you have further questions um, and the tooltips uh, don't help you um, or if you spot an error, um, there's a pretty high chance that uh, there is a, a error or copy and paste error or whatever in one of the formulas. Um, if you spot that, um, then please let me know so I can correct it. If you have got any questions how this works, how you can use it, uh, contact me um, and I'm happy to help. Thank you. Talk to you next time. Bye bye.